Hello gladiators, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kim. I am so happy that you're here and that you stopped by to see what we're talking about today. Today's video is going to be like uh, something that I love, which is a, it's about books. So if you're not into books, you don't like reading books, maybe skip this video. But if you're trying to get into reading books, then like, I mean, watch. Was, sorry if I'm like talking low, Kaden is in, Kaden just went to bed and I'm in my room. And yeah, so I just wanted to kind of have like a little chit chatty video with y'all. I'm about to get some water. Let me get some water and I'll be back. Today I wanted to tell you guys about two um, apps that I used to read because I don't always have time. I love, 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 love reading a physical book. Just curling up and having a physical book to read like warms my soul. But I don't always have time to do it, especially with Caden. I'm carrying his things and um, just even when I was a flight attendant, like I didn't have like if I bought the book, sometimes I would forget I left it on the plane. That did happen one time. I literally left it in the <laughs> in the overhead bin. And so it just can get kind of hard. And my favorite thing is going to the library and getting to look at all the new books that they have out and everything. And so I was trying to find a way to like still get to read books because I love to read. I love to read a lot. And just in those dead moments, I don't always like to be scrolling on Instagram or Facebook or um you know just playing random games like I want to be feeding my mind and so I found this app called Libby L-I-B-B-Y I found this app called Libby and basically you put your library card in there and it brings up your library and then you can check out books online like on your phone mind freaking blown I think that is the most amazing most genius thing so literally mine is I should have a little, a little screen grab on me so mine literally it has my library that my library card is connected to and then you get all the books that they have on your phone you can check them out so the way it works is just like a regular library you can put books on hold you can get books you can return it early um and nobody's in line you can renew it um it's just really really great and i have been loving it i have read so many books on there since i started and i think i started this started reading maybe back in january february i don't know it's been a few months but it hasn't been a year um so i'm going to share some of the books that i've been reading that i have loved like guys these are the books that make my heart go boom, boom, pow, okay? So the first one is one that I, I literally just finished finished it before I started filming this video. <laughs> you guys, it was so good. Um, I guess I could do like a rating, but I thought it was so good. The ending, I feel like the ending could have had a little bit more drama in it, you know, a little bit more like um builds up but i still i still loved it i still loved it it was called the wedding date and i don't have the author's names written down but um i will have like a picture of it on the screen guys this book was everything i was literally smiling the whole time i was reading it and it was great a lot like a lot of these books I just if it can make me smile I love for a book to make me feel everything the main character is feeling or whoever the character is is feeling like I want to feel like I'm in love I want to feel like this boy <laughs> hurt my heart like I want to feel those things and so if it gets me smiling and giddy and like then sometimes it makes me want to like cry like yes and that's how I that's how I judge if it's a good book, and also just how it's written and how it it flows. And we'll get into that with the next app I'm gonna tell you about because sometimes, um, just writers that are not fully developed, you can tell. But the, if the storyline is there, then it, you can make it work. But if it's not, then you're like, eh, okay, we gotta move on. But anyways, definitely highly recommend um, the wedding date by Jasmine. I think. 
I was looking at um, also a thing about Libby is that you can um, scroll through and you can search for the book or you can get recommendations from like the librarians. They have different uh, sections like for it was um, I think it was His Hispanic month or something like that and they had all the books by Hispanic writers and that's how I found Jasmine's she's not Hispanic but I found her book because it was like an African-American literature part um so you can literally search by anything or get recommendations and it's so super nice and so some of these books are like books that I would never have chosen for myself but like I'm so glad that I got paired with them um another book that I'm currently reading right now as well is called Atomic Habits and it's by James James Clear I don't know what I wrote <laughs> it's by James Clear and it's basically kind of like a self-help it's like a self-help book but it's just about how um habits literally can change your life like small changing one small thing every single day can like literally change your life and before you know it you're doing something entirely new so i've been really enjoying it i'm only um another thing about libby is that it tells you the percentage of the book that you're in so i'm only like seven percent in but i'm loving it so far i think it's gonna be super duper practical which is something that i need in my life a lot of times i am like i want to do this i want to do that but i don't know how to do it i don't know how to start and especially with like you know experiencing depression anxiety like you literally just you don't do anything because you just don't you you can't or you just don't want to and so this i really love books like this that give practical tools in order to be able to move forward so that's something that i really love um so some other books i'll just go quickly go through that i've read on libby um uh the unhoneymooners was the first book i read on there and guys i got it from um another youtuber she does book reviews and I was like, okay, I don't have anything to read. So I read that one first. Guys, it was so good. Oh my gosh. Like anything by, is that by Christina Lauren? I don't know. Anything by Christina Lauren or Colleen Hoover, I was like all over. Like love them. Love those, um, those authors. So the honey, the <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so excited. I'm just like thinking about all the love and things that I have. Oh my gosh. So the Unhoneymooners, definitely read. Um, the Honey Don't List, definitely read. Um, the Marriage Game was, okay, so the Marriage Game was like a book that I was like, I don't know if I want to read it. But guys, it turned out to be so good and it was so different. And it was about, um, it was um about the about indian culture and like arranged marriages and things and i just got to learn so much more it was like a very entertaining book but also it like brought in a lot of that culture so i really like that I, it was that was one of the ones i was like hmm but it was really good so I totally recommend that loved it ends with us that's another colleen hoover in november night i think I think November 9th was one of the favorite ones that I read like it was just such an interesting concept and how it all worked out like <laughs> then there is kiss my cupcake and that was when I recently read that one was really really good too um so those are all the books that I read on Libby well not all the books but those are the ones that I'm like you should read these they are so so good um, I don't really know how to like review books. I just like know for myself. Um, like, hey, I really like this book. So if you guys know, like, if you have any questions um, about the books or, you know, anything like that, let me know in the comment box below because I really don't know, like, how to explain. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next app. Um, the app is called Wattpad. Now, I am no stranger to Wattpad. I have been on Wattpad since my <sighs> junior year of high school. Um, and I graduated in 2014, so 2013. 
school. Eight years. I have been on Wattpad for eight years. Oh my gosh. I was there before they started trying to like get you to pay for things and have premium and all that stuff. Like I was there before all of that. And um, I still love it. I still read on there. Not as much as I used to, but I still really love it. So Wattpad is an app that basically allows people like you and me to just go on there and post their um, their content, their stories, um, whatever they're writing. And I think that's super cool. And that's what attracted oh. <laughs> And that is what attracted me to Wattpad in the beginning. And just because also I wanted to read on my phone during school don't tell everybody <laughs> but um I really really love that it's just regular people that are getting noticed like their books are getting out there their talent is getting out there because not everybody has you know the connections to get to a publisher or anything so for them to be able to write on this app and their work to be seen is really really awesome and I think some books have even gone on to be actual movies um I can't think of off the top of my head what what the one I know for sure is called but um so yeah like these some of the art some of the artists I keep wanting to call them artists some of the authors on there are super duper amazing like they need to be selling books um, also I think it's just a great way for writers to just get feedback on what they're writing and to kind of come into their own as a writer and their writing style so I think that's really really great um that's the only problem I have with Wattpad is basically like sometimes the stories are really really good and then sometimes you're like oh this is so cringy like who wrote this but you have to remember these aren't professional writers so um you just kind of take everything with a grain of salt sometimes the story is there just the writing is not there to match so basically you can just choose what you want to choose you can search by different tags i usually like to um um i usually like to read um urban stories um or i like to read werewolf stories um i haven't really ventured out of those two categories but i'm really open for anything so if you have any suggestions leave them down below um also i don't have the premium wattpad like i said i've been on this for eight years before premium was even thing before you had to pay before there were ads um so that is one thing that i don't like about current wattpad is that you have to there's some sometimes there's ads and sometimes it's like bugging you to um upgrade but it doesn't bother me um i'm not gonna pay <laughs> so until they make it like you have to pay um then that, that will be the day that i get off wattpad but for now i have no reason to to upgrade um but i did want to share a couple of um authors that I really love. I've read like almost all their books and they're really wonderful. The first one is It's underscore Amani and I will put their um, tags up here. I've been reading her um, series Trust Isn't the Only Issues for years. I feel like since I've been on Wattpad but it's been years because she has uh, several. I think this she's on her third or fourth book in the series but her chapters are long girl like not long as like for the Wattpad they're long and they are in depth and she I'm surprised that she has not been published yet I am so surprised that she has not been published yet because her writing is chef's kiss like it's so good I love her books I love the plot line I love everything her characters they crack me up um yeah it's been it's just been great um another one is called Lex the author um and also there's one Lexi underscore Lush so like I said yeah Wattpad has a lot I mean there's over thousands and thousands of people writing on there so you could literally there's literally everything on there there's literally something on there for everyone and if you want to write then you can write on there as well so that's super awesome um but yeah those are the books that i have been reading that i have been loving guys it has just been so awesome to just read like after a long day i just come home and i just i don't have the physical book but i just pick up my phone and i can just read instead of scrolling on instagram or scrolling on facebook and just comparing myself and feeling myself with disgusting things i can feel myself 
with you know more positive things like at least i'm feeding my brain oh i do have one book that i am reading like physically let me go get it by the way i'm one of those people that i know some people they can only read one book at a time but i'm not one of those people i will read like three different books <laughs> at a time and i don't get confused or anything i actually enjoy reading multiple books at a time but the book that i'm actually reading like um paperback it is called money sex and power the challenge of a disciplined life and it's by richard foster and it is a um christian based book and it's basically talking about so, basically what it says the challenge of a discipline <laughs> the challenge of a disciplined life and what that looks like in each of those areas and how we need to change so it's been really good um one of the comments says practical eloquent electric and compelling brings the adventure of faith alive in the real world so like i said i really love practical books that will tell me like hey a b and c <laughs> i love that like if you do this try this and you will see the results that you need so i really love that um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I could say. I just really wanted to make this video. Honestly, if nobody else, if nobody like watches this, I'll be totally fine. I just needed to get out how much I love these two apps and how much I love reading. So if you love reading, leave a book emoji down below. Also tell me what book you're currently reading, um, what book I need to check out. If you've read one of the books that I mentioned, how did you like it? Like, leave that all down below. Also, go ahead and give me a big ol' like, press that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you're notified. But every time that I post a video, I am exhausted. Um, I'm so happy that you decided to click on this video. Remember to let your light shine and to gladiate gracefully, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Shine on all of them.